So for today, we'll be presenting our findings from our research paper entitled Soft Skills and ISIT Project Management, a case study of Nepal's ISIT professional. The research paper was led by Dr. Rajiv Subba, who is a faculty at King's College, Nepal. Uh, the research paper also had contributions from Mr. Yujesh Maliku and myself, Anush Rester. Mr. Yujesh Maliku uh, is a teaching assistant at the organization and is also the organization's alumni. I am currently pursuing my MBA at the organization. So uh, for some historical background, a good manager used to be one who had all the technical knowledge that was required for the firm to proceed or to operate successfully. The successful project managers were ones who had the required uh, knowledge about financial procedures, how applications work in terms of IT, IS projects, uh, who knew everything about how computer protocols or the application modeling worked. Uh, those technical knowledge were deemed as hard skills and good managers were supposed to have good hard skills or had adequate hard skills. However, as the world has proceeded to become less bound through geographical boundaries, especially virtually due to a distributed work environment being the new norm, people who have started to work from home has increased 140% since 2005 with Zoom daily meetings exponentially increasing from 10 million in December of 2019 to 200 million in March of 2020. Obviously, this is in no small part due to obviously the pandemic that we all just went through. However, the fact remains that nowadays project managers or good managers don't just require a lot of technical knowledge, but also should be able to manage people and need to be people centric so that all of these soft skills that they have would be implemented to have a project completed on time within budget and meeting customer needs while meeting also the needs and requirements of all of these employees who are working from different places throughout the world and have different work and life backgrounds. In fact, a lot of the modern, modern projects do not fail due to lack of technical knowledge, but due to communication breakdowns and lack of planning and understanding of the managers uh, regarding the dynamics between individuals that they deal with. So we based our research on finding which specific soft skills are required in different phases of project management by managers according to specifically people who, who are working in the ISIT sector. And for our research, we chose Nepal's ISIT sector and Nepal's ISIT sector has been booming recently with over 900 ISIT companies registered. And most of these companies are providing offshore development services to international market. Uh, the companies, employees, uh, Nepal's ISIT companies, employees are from different multicultural backgrounds and also are working from different countries. In fact, uh, some of the Nepal's IT IS professionals who are working from Nepal's ISIT companies are based out of US or Australia or other foreign countries and are working uh, with different backgrounds. We base our projects, uh, our research uh, for project management phases uh, based on Suko et al's framework which basically divided a project management phase into initiating, planning, executing, controlling and closing phase. And the original research deemed that the soft skills, communication skills, team building skills, flexibility and creativity, leadership, organizational effectiveness, stress management, time management, change management, trustworthy and conflict management as the core soft skills required and um, are most relevant in these specific project management phases as shown in the figure. Besides Suko et al's frameworks, for our research, we also try to find out other uh, emerging soft skills that could be deemed relevant in different phases of the project management cycle. And we chose all of these emerging soft skills for our research. Now to proceed further about how we conducted the research and our findings, I would like to introduce Mr. Yujes Maliku. Thank you, Banu. So the major question is, are soft skills really required for project managers? And what are those soft skills? required in each phases of project management. So for this, we did an exploratory research and chose purposes sampling method as these type of research 
on soft skills required for IS or IT professionals here in Nepal are not previously been done in depth in context of Nepal. So adding, uh, adding, adding to our questionnaire, we also mentioned whether the project managers has relevant soft skills required for the project delivery as well. So there are 40 IS or IT professionals uh, we took into survey uh, who are working in IT or BPO projects in Nepal, USA and Australia. So we also asked about the relevant uh, emerging soft skills that are required in different phases of project management life cycle. So going to our findings, uh, next slide please Banu. So going to our findings, uh, with reference to what Bhanu have mentioned uh, regarding the su Sukhos framework, what we found was that the uh, communication skill, team building skill, and organizational effectiveness are the three soft skills that are required in initiating phase, which is not mentioned in Sukhos framework, so which is different from our research. So also we discussed about some of these emerging soft skills that are required in different uh, phases of project management. So what we found is that in initiating phase, we found that ability to work in an international context is more important. In planning phase, capacity for analysis and synthesis are detail oriented, understanding of other cultures and costumes, and critical thinking is more important in planning phase. Also, we found that ability to work on an inter interdisciplinary team uh, ability to work in an international context, ethical commitment or work ethics, and quality concern are the soft skills that are required in executing phase, according to our research. So, <clears throat> according to the to our survey, based on our finding, we found that communication skills was deemed to be most relevant skill in initiating phase. Similarly, understanding of other cultures and costumes was deemed to be most relevant in planning phase. Ability to work on interdisciplinary team is found to be the most relevant in executing phase. And similarly, conflict management is found to be relevant in controlling and closing phase of project management life cycle. So modern workforces have professionals from different disciplines working together who have experiences working in various fields. Therefore, we can infer that the managers need to manage interdisciplinary teams in the current working environment. We expect our finding to help Nepali IS or IT project managers understand which soft skills are valued most in their workplace to improve those skills. So as per our uh, finding, what we found was that 77% of the respondents said that project managers really lack soft skills here in Nepal. So, Therefore, we can conclude that most project managers need to update their soft skills. So additionally, we hope our finding will show IS or IT companies which soft skills are preferred so that they can target those skills while making or hiring for managerial positions. So we also found that our uh, reflection is slightly different from Sukho's initial framework, so which must be due to multicultural workforce. What we also found was that the communication skill is relevant across all the phases of project management. So talking about the uh, limitations, so our sample size, size could have been much larger, which could have drawn more conclusions from our research paper. So also we have not considered the experience of working in different time zones as well. So these are our findings, uh, reflections and conclusions, and also limitations and future research of our, uh, so, uh, our research paper. So these are the references that we took, uh, to, uh, we, we took in our research paper. So thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, thank you.